Voldemort is a distributed key value storage system. Let's set it up in NetBeans. So we go to its GitHub location in the clone repository dialog in NetBeans and we make a connection to it. And here we see all the branches. I'm not quite sure which one to pick, but I'm just going to go next, which will take out the main one. And then finish. And then the process begins to download Voldemort from GitHub. And this is going to take quite some time because it's a pretty large repository of code. So we're going to um, skip from here to the end of the clone process and then we'll continue. Now we're getting closer to the end of the process. We're asked whether we'd like to open this in the favorites window or to create a project. And I'm going to say close here and open in the favorites window so that we can see what kind of project we have before we try to open it. And clearly you can see in here a whole bunch of Gradle related files. So no surprise that NetBeans doesn't let you open it immediately because NetBeans doesn't have baked into it Gradle support. You need to install the Gradle plugin to open a project that includes Gradle. So we're going to do that. Look for the Gradle plugin and install that. And once that's installed, we'll be able to open the project and the Gradle support provided by the plugin will handle the next steps. So let's complete this process. We now have the Gradle plugin, which means that that folder, because it contains Gradle files, will be recognized as a project. See, there you go. We open the project and now the Gradle process begins thanks to the Gradle plugin that we've just installed. So this will take some time as well because it's going to try and um, load all the dependencies and set up the project. And if you don't like the length of this process and whatever, things like that, then you should uh, complain to the Voldemort project about it using Gradle, because this is Gradle in the same way as if you had a PUM file with Maven artifacts defined in it, you would need to wait for Maven to set up your project. In this case, you're waiting for Gradle to set up your project for you. It would take some time, but if you didn't have Gradle or Maven in this project, you would need to set up the dependency yourself manually. So either you let this be done automatically um, or um, you need to do this yourself um, without a project system. So that's really what the what the Gradle support does. It manages your dependencies, which are all defined in Gradle files, which are all downloaded and um, which eventually you'll see inside NetBeans too. So we're going to skip this process until the point where we can see some results inside NetBeans. Okay, we're getting to the end of the process here. You can see that NetBeans suddenly starts showing the source packages and the test packages and the dependencies and things like that. That's because the Gradle support provided by that plugin that we've just installed has managed to download the dependencies and the basic project structure needed for NetBeans to begin to be able to work with it. So now you can open the, um, the various nodes that you see here. But the best thing to do is to really wait for all of these Gradle processes to complete, so all these different tasks. And at some point, we'll end up in the tests. So automatically, all the tests will be run, and you see the test results. And once all of those different processes are complete, it's a good thing to, t you know, to be actually then at that point, you can begin looking inside the folders and the nodes and whatever, expanding things, but actually until then just leave things and wait for everything to complete. Once you get to the end of the process, start taking a look at what's been set up for you. As you can see, Voldemort at the end is ready to use.